What's going on guys, Coach Show here. On this Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna talk about my favorite row variations that will help increase your deadlift. So as you guys know, I've been really putting in a lot of time to strengthen my deadlift. And as a strong man, my Achilles heel has been having a lower deadlift. So I really just need to get that higher. What I wanna do is cover my top row variations that have helped increase my deadlift. Now the main point of this is strength specific. So putting on more strength and increasing the number of the deadlift. Now when it comes to getting stronger and using a variation or accessory movement, we have to do what closely mimics the main movement. And often what I used to do and what I see a lot of people do are movements that actually don't have a big turnover for the deadlift. So I'm talking about doing like a cable row, for example, or maybe doing a row where you put your hand on the bench or you're doing a lat pull down of some sort. These movements, yes, will hit the back muscles and you will get a pump if you're doing lots and lots of volume. However, I don't really think that they have much carryover to strength for the deadlift. And the reason this is happening is because you are not actually in a hinged position. And what you need to really do is be in that hinged position to work the hamstrings, the glutes, and the back the entire time, and mostly always staying lean over in those positions. Most of the time you'll see people who get too upright and they're not actually in the position that they will be in for their deadlift. So unfortunately what I would do is stop telling people to use the hammer strength machine or just doing tons and tons of reps with dumbbell rows with their hand on the bench or lat pull downs and put more time into row variations that actually mimic the deadlift. So what kind of variations would they be? Well, the first one that pops into my mind is going to be a barbell bent over row. And that is one of my favorite exercises to strengthen my deadlift. And I will make sure that I'm in that hinge position when I'm doing this. And that'll be more for volume. So I'll do anywhere from five to max 10 reps of this exercise. Now another variation of the barbell row is gonna be a pen lay row. And I love doing pen lay rows. And this is something that's really helped get my back stronger and increase my deadlift over time. From there, if you wanna do a dumbbell row, what I suggest is not putting your hand on the bench. So you're gonna do it just a standing dumbbell row where in that position you are getting the glutes activated, the hamstrings and the posterior chain as well as core work because you don't have something that you're putting your hand on, which isn't what you'd be doing when you're deadlifting. Lastly, what I've been doing a lot of has been a T-bar row variation with a landmine. So I really like using this variation uh, and I try to stay hinged over the entire time. And like I said, I'll be doing more volume with this. Four sets of anywhere from five to 10 reps, depending on the programming that I'm doing and block that I'm on. So in terms of rows, I like to keep it very simple because I'm specifically trying to increase my deadlift and want to do variations that mimic the main movement, which is the deadlift. Now, if you guys are trying to just get a pump, get lots of blood flow to the muscle or warm up, those other variations are fine. And if you don't really care about adding strength to your deadlift, that's okay too. I'm just trying to give you guys a little bit of wisdom if I go tell my younger self on what I would do differently to increase that base strength and get my deadlift as strong as possible so I'm not doing as much work as I am now to play catch up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. We have tons of great stuff coming out, lots of collaborations I'm really pumped about. And I just can't say thank you guys enough for tuning into this channel. Throw in those row variations. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. Maybe your thoughts or what you guys like to do for your back and your increasing your deadlift. Thanks so much, guys. Stay Lean Me Strength Machine. I'll catch up with you later. Peace.